Hey guys, Jason the X with SCNS Live, powered by Cinelinks.com, with another figure review for you. Uh, sorry about last week, I was getting some stuff uh, sold and actually making room for more figures because my collection is out of control. But we're going to get to this. This is the Fans Projects Warbot Revolver Core. Now, this guy, I was, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Roadbuster, who this is based off of. And I bought this guy, and he's got the Fans Projects price tag. And then I saw this one that we're going to see from Hasbro. And it was right after I bought this, but I was like, hey, you know what? I'm going to have them both anyway. At least I can do a comparison. And upon seeing them, there's things I like about the Hasbro version, there's things I like about this, and there's things I dislike about both. And we're going to get right into it with a revolver here. But let's go ahead and take a look at the standard Fans Projects packaging. At least this one has the window, like the Warbots. The, uh, the Headmaster figures they're making, they just come in the little shoebox. And there you see Recoiler and Rift Shot, which are going to be coming out soon. They're just uh, some repaints of Revolver here, and you get more pieces. I don't know about spending the same amount of money for two repaints, but there's a look at him on the side, especially since they're both the same. And you got a window on the side here and a uh, window on the top. But basically, these two guys are the same figure as Roadbuster here. They're slightly remolded heads and different colors. And yeah, you can get more weapons and more things to add on to Roadbuster, but I'm just like, no, they're, they're priced enough as it is without just two repaints. Also, I want to get into the big problem with this guy. This is the, the thing that I, I got this guy, and I was like, now if you'll notice... You hear that? That's because these half, this half track here, these treads in the back have no wheels on them. Nothing. No wheels. I don't get that. And that, that's a small thing. And that's where some of the regret came in on this guy. But there's no wheels here. And why? I don't know. It seems like such an easy thing to add. And he's a good bot. But that takes a lot away from him. Anyway. So yeah, that's my gripe with the guy. I'm going to go ahead and give a comparison. Let's bring in uh, Big Boy here. Um, here we got him with the Salter. Another one of the Warbots. Good size comparison there. Uh, here's, here he is with Defender. And I like the way these guys look. I was going to have him in... Uh, car mode, but I want to get him in robot mode and it's easier to get him from here. Because I want to transform him at the end. Because reasons. And here he is with his core brother Steel here. So yeah, not too bad. And we'll take a look at the figure itself. We got the bumper here, which is composed of two handguns. There's a nice intimidating front here. I love the look of this guy. I do. Uh, Robuster was one of my favorites, but man... You can't put wheels on this thing? Really? It's wheels, man. On the half track. Wheels. So yeah, but it's a good looking. I love the colors on this guy. And it's this I don't want to nitpick, but man, it's just a really just a problem for me. Now the other thing is we get to the robot here, and um let's go ahead and get steel cores out. His core, and at first uh, I was looking at these guys, I was thinking they were a repaint, but they're not. If you look, they got uh, different head molds. I love the goggles on Revolver here. And the chests are pretty much the same. Um, his gap uh, seems to be greater than uh, Steel's. I'm not sure what's going on with that. He's as pegged as far back as he'll go. But yeah, uh, the legs are different, and uh, so is the arms. But everything else is pretty much the same. They got the same exact transformation. But he does have a tiny little face. Kind of reminds me of Hawk from G.I. Joe. And, you know, if you never saw this guy's face, there you go. So, But yeah, pretty cool little figure here. Uh, he stands pretty well. Articula articulation wise he will uh, bend 90 degrees at the at the knees got a little ball joint on the hips you got some very tiny ball joints on the shoulders and the arms will move at the elbow inside of the shield and the heads on a ball joint too so yeah not too bad I love the little headmasters and power masters they keep giving us out of the fans projects line 
Now as far as revolver, uh, he's a half track, but to show off his weapons, I'm going to take those off and these actually untab. I'm going to show you some of the cool stuff you can do with these. Now I do like what these weapons do. Now see, this was the front bumper and they just peg together like that. And you just pop them out and you got these two handguns here which are identical and they're pretty cool. I, I like how much weaponry he comes with. And he also comes with these two guns that were attached to the back. One's like a kind of a heavier cannon, maybe like a grenade launcher, and this one is more of a submachine gun. But you can put these together. This one you got your machine gun here. And you can combine this one with this other handgun. Now you've got kind of a, uh, I think this usually goes out. Now you got kind of a bigger grenade launcher. I think this will actually go all the way in. Yeah, it will. So you can have it like that. Um, another good combination is you take this part and you peg it into the top of this. Push that forward. If I'm correct. This nope goes like that. And then you got a really heavy rifle. Now, if you look in the instructions, which you have to excuse, I have uh, children and they got a hold of this. Well, one of them did. Thank you, Liz. But look at the inside of the book. You got. Uh, bring the camera up here. You got to look at the boys here: defender and revolver, and uh, just a little comics. No, no comic this time around. Just this. And I want to say these pages are. Nope, that's the same page. But just gives you an overview of how to transform the guy. And a look at some of the extra pieces. Like here you go. Like right here you got a roof and some other side panels. They're going to go on there and make him a little bit more armored. And there's another part where the hammer actually becomes missile pods on the side. And more uh, brush guards up front with some headlights. So yeah, he'll end up looking uh, something like that. I believe one of our awesome reviewers, P.I., he's going to have a review of this up tonight, actually. But yeah, and you can uh, combine the weapons into different ones, put some extra hands on them. But honestly, they're just repaints of Roadbuster. So I'm kind of like, I don't want to spend that much money again. So we're on to the figure itself. That's enough of me complaining about it, because I do like this guy. I just wish some things were fixed on him. Anyway, you want to pull these down. Just like so. And he's got a really easy transformation, too. Uh, fans projects just seems to get a lot easier. I mean, compared with Defender, yeah. This guy is a cakewalk. You just want to bring the legs down, just straighten them all the way out. Take these and twist them around. Get these out of the way. You can just split them there. Take the half track and fold it around both sides. And the feet, you want to spin them like so, and you got like a heel spur in the back here. And bring this panel around because it's on a double hinge, and that will close in the gap. And we just want to spin that around. I'm sorry, I had, I didn't need to spin it around the second time. So, so anyway, that goes on the side. Like I said, the leg comes, the foot comes down, makes a 360 double hinge and pull the panel over and there you have his legs. Take the crotch piece and just stick it up there. Next, one, next thing you want to do is raise the camera up because he's getting taller. And as you can see there's his fist right there. So you want to take this and well, you want to take this and bring it up. Sorry. Tilted the camera too far. Take this, tilt it up and then you should be able to, oh I'm sorry, you gotta take this part here flip it over and close it up and that's going to go behind his shoulders okay and then what is this tabbed into oh they're tabbed in here that's what I'm doing wrong well the tab was down here so anyway take him or write him and I've got him backwards so I'm going to turn this around We'll leave the core down. Anyway, you want to take this part and fold it up. Take this part and fold it, well, just push it in. Because now you're going to take these parts and bring them down. Oops. Ah. 
what you're going to do is take these parts, which actually are tabbed in to the uh, front of the hood. We have that tab right there. You just want to take those and bring them down. Bring the hands down. Straighten this out. Bring this down. And bring out his fists. And then put those underneath and turn the fists around. And there you have an arm. So yeah, one more time. Bring this down, just untab it from over here. Turn the arm around, pin this in, and that's it. You're basically just straightening it out. And turn the fists around. And these go up. Take this part, and there's, like I said, there's this thing on a little slide here. I'm going to bring it down to the chest. I don't know why this is coming up here. Hold on. Hmm. Just trying to get this part to stay down. There we go. Bring his head up. And when you push this, that little slide piece up, it'll actually raise the head up and keep it in place so you can push the chest down. That keeps the head in. Come back around here. And you got this big open space. Which, like steel core, you got to put a core in. So, I'm going to take revolver here. Bring these together. Also, turn the head 180 and push it down. And we just bring those up. Push those in. And take his core, and he's tabbed. He got tabs right here that have to line up to be pushed in all the way. So once it's in there, you just want to take this and bring it up and over, and close it around the pack. And there's his core in his back. And when you have all that done, there you have a revolver in his robot mode. Pretty good looking robot here. As far as his weapons, we got this big cannon over here. We can put that in his hand. But all these weapons are modular. They all have the same little tab. And can go in his hands. They can pin to his shoulders for some uh, over the shoulder weaponry here. That actually goes down a little bit further. I'm just trying to. There we go. So yeah, he's a tough looking bot. I like the look of him. However, man, just the, um, well, here's another problem. These wrists on him are really loose. They don't lock at all. So, you know, he's kind of, when I look at this guy, I don't get a roadbuster feel. I mean, that the, the head mold is one thing. It doesn't really scream roadbuster to me. I, I don't know what it is. It just doesn't. Now, maybe all those add-on pieces will make him look better. He'd have a bigger gun. But as far as Roadbuster, I don't know. I don't feel comfortable with this guy as Roadbuster as much as I thought I did. But anyway, he's not a bad figure. He just has a couple of things wrong. Now, for some, for some comparisons, here he is with his buddies here. We got, uh, got Steel Core here. Right, we're going to go ahead and put in a salter. We'll just put his gun down. So you got to look at the size of him. And figures, he drops his gun as I go to bring I'm hoping he actually stands up in this shot. But there we go with Defender, who I don't have the heel spurs for. I'll just put these out to help counterbalance you. There we go. So yeah, that's how he looks standing next to the other Warbots. I mean, not bad, but could have been better. I'm probably not going to get uh, Recoil or Enriff Shot just because it's, it's just a repaint. Um, if anything, I'll wait. Maybe I'll get with the Hasbro version and see what it looks like. But for now, this has been my review of the Fans Project's Revolver Core Warbot 004. I'm Jason the X. Go ahead and like, subscribe, check out Cinelinks.com. And until next time, guys, I will catch you later.